You guys, I went on a plane yesterday. Not that doesn't sound like a big deal at all. I went on, you're like, oh wow. No, I went on like a tiny plane. Say hi, Vincent. Hi. You're gonna, like go, you're gonna go on my YouTube channel. Oh, you got a YouTube channel? I do. Great. You're gonna be famous. Oh. <laughs> Hey, well, fame and fortune. maybe slightly famous. Okay. It was magical. Flew around Hawaii. Like, I saw whales, waterfalls. It was like Jurassic Park. It was fucking cool. And I was, I was a little, I was nervous about it. I couldn't sleep the night before. I almost backed out. And then I talked to my mom and she was like, before you say no, like obviously go with your gut, but before you say no, like lean into like what you really want to do outside of like the fear surrounding your disability and like the what ifs and obviously those are valid, but like if you can get past that, like, does it feel like the right, like, thing to do? Is it something you think you could do? And, um, like, connect with, like, you and, and where you're really, what you really want, aside from the doubt and the fear and the, all that bullshit. And so I leaned in, and as soon as I got there, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this feels right, I can do this. That was so cool. That Thank was awesome. So fun. I'm surprised we saw so many whales. That I know, so many so whales. Awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. When we get onto here, you can either put me on your back like a piggyback, or you can just go ahead. That's scary. Whatever's more comfortable. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna count. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Whoa. Okay. Good. Wait for him to stop shaking. Yeah. Okay. You good? Yep. One, two, three. Ah. Good? Yes. That was easy. Right here. And we're back. And we're back. This month has really been about grounding and clearing and recentering, finding a healthy routine, decluttering my life of the shit that's no longer serving me or that's draining me or having a negative impact on my life. And I've really been doing the work. I've really been doing the work to find myself in a good flow here and part of that like feeling this shift from that work has made room for some lovely growth and positive changes and I'm feeling I'm reaping the benefits and finding more room for just calm and a feeling of peace this is a place where I really like to explore movement because it's so much easier like I can move my hips I can move my like like when I move my shoulders my hips respond and it feels super good like I can feel my spine moving like just this fluid movement feels like it releases a lot and I can like meditate while I do this I can put on whatever music to like release anything or like conjure certain feelings um but just this like initiation from my shoulders like I can feel my hips swaying and like my whole rib cage 
and I can like arch my back in here, stretch my neck. I can like move my arms to get more movement throughout my body and it just feels so good. So like, there's so many ways to play in tub in like different sensual ways, like whether it's, you know, visually and meditatively with candles and incense with like your sense of smell and like playing with the smell is really fun and just watching it dance. So when it splits around my wrist, that's my favorite. And come dance with me. Tell me. Uh, or like with your music. And just like playing going underwater. This is such a this is a really good time to just like slow down and indulge in your senses. And like explore a whole new way to move with your body, especially when you have paralysis. Any sort of disability where you feel like you have, you know, you have more mobility in the water, pain, whatever it may be. Say one word more, don't go home, come to bay, river stone, you're no So we dry off my arms so I can grab her and she can grab me a little better. And if we ever feel like we're in trouble, we just go back into the tub. We don't try to like force it. The water will be kinder than anything else. That was like the smoothest ever. Was it? Yeah. Cool. Like it didn't hurt your. It was the arm. fastest and the smoothest. Sweet. Yeah. The pressure was on. Can't. <laughs> and that's how it's done. I feel like the biggest thing with this transfer is for you and like protecting her back. I mean, we will also we want to protect each other, but like I make sure to like grip her really tight. And if I think I can't hold on, then I would say that and she would go back into the job. But for you, I feel like you, maybe you can speak to that. Oh yeah. It's uh, like you block gosh. my knees with your knees. Yeah, and you say if you're when I tuck your knees in yeah. here, like up here, then it's so much easier because I have your your upper body pinned up here, and then your knees naturally will like yeah, pin themselves so right. here. Yeah, yeah like it's so much easier to like. Yeah, but you want to make sure that you're like. Um. Tightening your core when you do that. Yeah. Like tightening your core and squatting and putting, thinking about putting the weight into your heels. Yeah. Because if, yeah. Um, yeah, you want to protect your sacrum. Actually, mine's been off lately, but. Yeah. Um, so it just can be like you come up onto this edge and then right over into the chair. And you can always take a breather on the edge. Like, as long as everybody's okay. Sometimes my blood pressure will drop, and I'm like, all right, we gotta move. But that's a good spot to, like, take a breather and reset if you need to, and then finish your transfer. Elaine is a boss. Hello. <laughs> all the time. But, um, and that one was like, I don't even think you really used that. Um, it didn't feel like it. No, I, 
I like to keep going because there's that momentum there. Yeah, that's helpful. Like you use that to like, like get up and over. Like it's like leverage. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then once you're For like sure. there, then you have the momentum. The exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, I see paras and some badass quads do this by themselves, and they like will put their chair, their manual chair, mm -hmm. right in front of the table, so it, or in front of the back, so it's facing them, and they'll hook their wrists around the like part of the wheel that goes like this, mm -hmm. not the wheel, but like the structure, the frame. Mm -hmm. and they'll hook their hands around it, and then they'll pull themselves up onto the edge, oh, and wow. then set up and transfer. Alright. Well, guys, I'm going to say bye to the camera. <laughs> Peace. Bye. This was such a big move that it totally put me out of whack, and I feel like I'm finally finding the flow and getting into a groove here, and it feels really damn good. It feels damn good. And I also feel like I'm making more space for connection with my outer world in positive, beautiful ways. I'm finding more time to connect with my people and new people and Hawaii and how beautiful it is here. I don't know how long I'll be here, so I really, I don't want to miss it, you know? I want to be as present as I can and really form a relationship with this place and its people. I feel like I'm starting to connect to the earth here. I'm starting to plant some roots and I don't know how deep they'll grow or how long I'll be here but I'm here now and that's all that matters and so I might as well plant some roots so that I feel safe and connected and I can grow.